and again. But most of all, love needs lots of love, lots of it. And in return, love loves you and never stops. This is how falling in love is like owning a dog. <laughs> Just for you. <laughs> hey, no attention. <laughs> As we stand here on a beautiful, if not a little bit rainy day, surrounded by your beautiful family and friends, I invite you both to pause for just a moment and contemplate what you want to give to each other in this relationship, in this moment of silence. You two got way too serious. <laughs> way too fast. No, okay. Are you ready? Marriage should not be entered into lightly but thoughtfully. With it are both deep joys and responsibilities. Please remember that the miracle lies in the path that you have chosen together. Enter into marriage knowing that the true magic of love is not to avoid changes, but to navigate them successfully. Commit to the miracle of making each day work together for no human ties are more important or more tender. Since it is your intention to enter into marriage, join your right hands and declare your consent before God and those here gathered. Scott, do you take Jessica to be your wedded wife, to love her, honor her, protect her, encourage and provide for her, and be unto her a loving and loyal husband, as long as you both shall live? If so, answer, I do. Jessica, do you take Scott to be your wedded husband, to love him, honor him, protect him, encourage and provide for him, and be unto him a loving and loyal wife, as long as you both shall live? If so, answer, I do. Thank you. Have the rings, please. The circle has long been a symbol of God without beginning and without end and with no point of weakness. The circle is a reminder of the eternal qualities of God and unending strength. Let the seamless circle of these rings become the symbol of your endless love. God bless these rings and the two who exchange them. Fill them with your holy presence, keep them safe in the circle of your protection and love always. And let us all say, Amen. Amen. You have to let go now. <laughs> Scott, will you take Jessica's hand and lovingly place this ring on the third finger of her left hand and repeat after me. With this ring, with this ring I thee wed, I thee wed and, with it, and with it I bestow upon you, I bestow upon you all, the treasures of my mind, all the treasures of my mind, soul, heart, and hands. Soul, heart, and hands. Amen. That's all the rings I have. <laughs> Will it fit? All right, we're going to borrow this one. Repeat after me with this ring. I thee wed. And with it, I bestow upon you all the treasures of my mind, soul, heart, and hands. Amen. It works. So, hand that to someone because you have another job now. <laughs> so, hold. Failing. Front. Good job. Can you have the letters? Letters. You're doing good so far. <laughs> I mean, you did lose the other ring, but don't let that bother you. I'm sure you'll be fine. Maybe. Jessica and Scott have chosen as a couple to perform a love letter ceremony. This box will contain hopes, dreams, and a love letter from each to the other, and so much more. The letters describe the good qualities they find in one another, the reasons they fell in love, and the reasons for choosing to marry. The letters are sealed. And they have not been seen, hopefully. Have they been seen by the other one? Very good. Proud of you. We wrote them this morning. I still like both of you. And I'm still proud of you. So they've not seen what has been written. And that's important because these are very special letters. Life is not always full of perfect days, of happiness and light, and neither is marriage. That's not a bad thing, for without the bad, we would never appreciate the wonderful blessings of a life spent together. 
If Jessica and Scott ever find their beautiful memories of this day beginning to fade, they will open this box, sit and read the letters that they wrote to one another, and be reminded of the reasons why they are together. The hope is, and our prayer is, however, that they will not have any reason between now and their first anniversary to open this box. And if that is the case, they are to open the box on that day and share and enjoy on their first anniversary. And then they have to add some more letters of love and what it means to be in love with each other and open that again on their fifth anniversary and their 10th anniversary and so on and so on. And may your lives together be like the pages of a favorite book, always growing better with the passing of time. So place your letters in the box. Good job. I'm going to give this to a responsible person. <laughs> Let us pray. Father, we ask that you bless this union of hearts, minds, and bodies, that this husband and wife may come to cherish each other ever more each day, and that their life together may be a channel that you may use to pour forth your love and light into this world. Amen. Amen. We are right here at the most important part, right next to cake. The kiss. I'm hoping you guys have practiced. Nope. <laughs> you just met her today, didn't you? I have no idea. I never see it. Never, never. It'll get better. Well, good luck with the kiss. Don't kiss until I tell you to. For as much as you, Scott, and you, Jessica, have openly declared your wishes to be united in marriage and in the presence of these witnesses, have pledged love to each other and have confirmed the same by joining hands, exchanging rings, and declaring your vows, I, as a minister of the Commonwealth of Virginia, am legally authorized to pronounce that you are, right now, Finally, and officially, in front of all of these beautiful people, forever and ever, husband and wife. I'm going to move right over here. You may kiss your bride. Mm -hmm. <laughs> getting the feeling that you may have lied to the minister about never kissing before. <laughs> but that's okay. He's revoking the whole thing. No, no, no. Get your flowers. Face that way. Hold hands. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm honored to give you Mr. and Mrs. Scott and Jessica Jenkins. <laughs>